Mr. Marshall here up in my upstairs music room. How is everyone? I miss you guys so much. I hope y'all had a great spring break. I'm just sitting here up here jamming to some sweet beats. You probably saw I, I don't have a drum like I, I usually do in my music room. But you know what? That's okay. If you don't have a drum, if you look around your house, you can always find something that, that works just like a drum. Like I found a box. My wife and I, we like to drink coffee, so we have this box, this coffee box. And you know, if you hit it right here at the top, it sounds just like a drum. My, my son, earlier today, he was playing his, his drum. He, he, he found an oatmeal container, and it sounds like a drum, too. I bet you guys can do the same thing. In fact, you can look up the Mr. Rob videos that we practice sometimes in my music room at school, and you can just go right onto my webpage on the school, on Golden Isles Elementary School, and go to Mr. Marshall's music page, and I have the links to all the Sweet Beats videos and everything. And all you have to do is find something that works like a drum, like a box, or a oatmeal container. And you can practice our Sweet Beats rhythms just like we do in class. All right, boys and girls, so for today, for our Upstairs with Mr. Marshall Music Room video, I want you guys to be able to learn what these notes sound like and look like, and I want you to be able to read them. Now, I know you guys, a lot of you are used to our beets and our cherries, and we've, we've done a really good job with our beets and our cherries and our avocados and all those patterns that make rhythms. But today, we're going to kick it up a notch, and we're going to really talk about what these notes mean and how we can put them together to make some really cool rhythms. And we're going to learn about what we call them and, and how to read them as musicians. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So those are our targets for today. And we'll know if we're doing really well if you guys are able to echo me with the rhythms that I give you. And if you're able to tell, tell me what kind of notes that we're looking at. You'll, you're going to be able to tell what a quarter note is, what eighth notes are, sixteenth notes, and even that, shh, that rest. Just make sure you're sitting up nice and straight. You have your elbows out and you're alternating your hands when you play the Sweet Beats rhythms just like we've played in class. Let's try a couple of them. Can you do it with me? Did you find a drum? Here we go, ready? I'll play, then you be my echo. Beat, beat, cherry, beat. Good, how about this one? Beat, beat, avocado, beat. Very good. Let's put a rest in there. Remember a rest is where we're silent for a beat, right? Let's try this one. Very good. How about this one? Avocado, avocado, cherry, beet. Very good. One more. Beet, beet, avocado, beet. Wow. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was awesome. Did you guys notice the rhythms that were that were up right next to my head while we were playing those those rhythms? Those were real music notes, right? They didn't look like beats, they didn't look like cherries. Those were the patterns using real music notes that you would read as a musician. So for beats, like we would say beat, 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 this is what that would look like. And those are quarter notes, four quarter notes. We can also say ta, 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 ta. Can you try that with me? Ready, go. Ta, ta, ta. Great. How about this one? This is a beat, beat, cherry beat, or we could say ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Those notes that are connected together, we call those eighth notes. Some people say they look kind of like headphones. So for that, we would say ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Try it with me. Ready? Go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Nice job. Ooh, there's one of those rest bells that Mr. Rob likes to call. Well, that's actually a quarter rest. And that means we're silent for one beat. So let's try that rhythm. I'll play it first, then you play it with me. Ta, ta, sh, ta. Very good. Give yourself another round of applause. Ooh, let's try a tough one. I know you guys can do it. You know how when we watch our Sweet Beats video and we hear a rhythm like this? Well, those notes that we heard in that rhythm 
look like this. They're called 16th notes. So instead of saying avocado, avocado, the next time we try those, let's say tiki, 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 tiki. So this rhythm would sound like this. Ta, ta, tiki, tiki, ta. You try it. Ready? Go. Very good. All right, let's see if we can do a bunch of our new rhythms that we've learned today in a row. We'll try to mix them all together and we'll say the ta's and the t's and the tiki tiki and the sh when we see a rest. And I'll play it first and you be my echo. All right, here we go. Got a little beat going for us. Help us keep the steady beat. Ready? I'll play the rhythm first, you be my echo. Good. Nice job. Good. How about this one? Nice. The beat note, the quarter note. Good. How about this one? Yeah, the beat note again. Yeah, let's play some more of those 16th notes. Those are really fun to play. They're really fast, aren't they? Can we play this rhythm? Whoa, that's all 16th notes. Let's see if we can play it together. One, two, ready, go. Tiki, 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 tiki. Did you get it? Try it again with me. One, two, ready, here we go. Tiki, 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 tiki. Good job. Hey, boys and girls, let's try something really fun. I have my guitar here. I thought I would play along with some music. You guys can read and play along to the rhythm flashcards that we've been practicing, and we'll play some music together. Wouldn't it be cool if you guys could video yourselves and send it to me? playing along with this video. I think that would be so cool. That, that would make my day. I'd love to see that. So let's practice. Ready? All right, so I'll get some music going. You guys can play along with your instruments to the beat and just read these rhythms as we play along together. We'll play each rhythm four times and I'll kind of help you out with the ties and the T's. Here's the first rhythm, ready? Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ta, ta. Last time. Good job. Here's the next one. Ready? Go. Ti, ti, ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ti, 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 ta, ta, ti, 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 ta. Nice job. Let's try this one together. Ready? Ta, sh, 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 ta. Nice job. That had some rest in it, right? How about this one? Alright, so for some of you guys, some of these rhythms that you that you play today and practice and read, they're going to be really easy and you're going to even know them already because you, you've already learned some of this. But that's okay. It's always great practice um, to play and read these rhythms. As musicians, we always have to practice. So for some of you, they're going to be new, like the quarter note, the eighth notes, the sixteenth notes. But putting them into patterns and reading them um, is a great way to practice and learn to read the, the language of rhythm and to become young musicians, and that's what we're trying to do. So I uh, hope you guys have fun with today's lesson.